Hello and welcome to the Daily Guidance for Wednesday. Today is November 2nd, 2022. So we're going to use the big cards today and I'm starting with tarot. Um, so I was given like, it felt like a storyline. And it was a little bit, I guess you could say alarming for me because many of you, it's time to put your money where your mouth is. It's like the way it was shown to me, the one thing that you've been asking for, you've been on your knees praying for, you've been calling it in. It's here and it's being given to you, but because it doesn't look the way that you've been taught that it should look, you turn it down. You say, no, I don't want it. You send it back. Not only that, after you send it back, you ridicule it. And you kind of like, it's so ungrateful. It's that energy. That was what was, you know, shown to me. Many of you, what you're wanting is being, it's like right in your face, but you're not able to see beyond the illusion. So, you talk down on what it is. Like, this is what you've been working so hard for and it's in your face. But you judge it. You persecute it as well. You shun it. Some of you actually say you're too good for it, actually. Um, some of you won't even turn and look at it. And then when someone tries to tell you, this is it, this is it, you attack that person. This is what's happening right now. So that's why a lot of you are actually in this place where you're feeling displeased because you're still trying to work from the same illusion. Oh, gosh. Unless you're able to change your perception, there's really nothing. There's nothing anyone can do. So some of you, this is on your own time that you will allow this in. Um, I'm going to recommend some positive affirmations for y'all because that's how you can kind of reprogram the subconscious programming that has taught you to only accept like falsehood. Um, many are still working from that space, you know. And the messages are not going to... The messages are going to continuously try to get you to see beyond the illusion. So if you're not making progress, right? If you're not doing what's necessary to get beyond the illusion, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel like the messages are the same. I saw someone's comment, I'm getting tired of the same messages. Okay, here's the deal. The energy is getting tired of coming around to you and you complaining when it's exactly what you asked for. So many are just going to have to Pray yourself into a higher vibration. I mean, that's how I can say it. This happens on your own time. When you're ready. When you're ready. So, everybody has their own time here. Some have already indulged. Some of you are already living it. Because you took that chance on yourself. You said, I deserve this, so whatever it takes. You know, some of you, it looked a way that you would never entertain. It may have started with a minimum wage job. It may have started with a relationship partner you thought was below you, right? It may have started with you having to take on something that just is not anything like what you wanted. 
Others are looking for things to be given to them on the silver platter, otherwise they won't entertain it. And you know, that's you know what you choose, but um the changes are happening. So let's get some big picture messages here. Message for Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Something being given is coming from a page. You may doubt it because of where it's coming from, but it is a, a real solid thing being offered to you. Okay, King of Cups is here. Some of you guys, it's actually a person. Okay. Um, I'm getting a gentle energy. Some of you guys may have a certain type that you want and it doesn't fit the type that you want because of your belief systems here, because of the things you have been taught to believe by external things, by institutions, by cultural beliefs, traditions has been handed down by, you know, religious beliefs, by just so society. It's gonna make me look different. It's People will judge me if I don't do it. I'm going to be the odd person out. I'm gonna seem different. You're still trying to conform. Some of you are still trying to conform. And since what's being offered doesn't look how you picture it in your mind, you want to attack the giver. Why are you giving this to me? And then you want to sit in your pity and then you affect everybody around you. And then you're looking for everybody to give you a way out when it's already been presented. So this is what's happening right now. And actually this is happening for those who are on the path, right? Those who are not on the path to ascension or they have decided that the 3D construct is what they want to stay in, they're not even seeing something presented some of you there's something is in your face you look at it like it's not of you you actually say no it's going to take me to the past it's it's that's an illusion no you're actually still reacting the way that you've always reacted and just when it comes to your reaction to things everything warrants a reaction right so reacting alone is not bad. It's just being aware of how you react. Sometimes things warrant a certain reaction. And what's important to remember is to be, be aware of the reaction that you're giving is not something that's going to put you in a pattern you don't want to be in. So just because you react in a way that some people may think is negative doesn't mean it's the wrong reaction. I'm going to make sure I say this because I I think that um sometimes are sometimes the messages are not really taken the way that it's supposed to. And this is one of the tricks actually of language, of speech, right? Mm -hmm of being verbal because we are actually energy and we were able to just feel what the other person feels and nothing had to be explained. You know, nothing had to be explained. There were no misunderstandings, but with words, expressions, actions, behaviors, 
it brings misunderstanding. So as long as you're honoring yourself and what you truly feel, there's nothing wrong with reacting in any way. Um, it's when you allow belief systems to tell you you're wrong for reacting that way and you ignore what you feel deep inside. That's when you got to sit with that. OK, so moving on here, something's being presented. It's solid. It's real. It's tangible. This can grow into something real. You don't trust it, actually. King of Cups. And this doesn't have to be a person. Some of you it is, but it doesn't have to be. It's something that makes you question what you feel. Some of you hold in what you feel because of social norms, social structures. Okay. And that's what's going through a death. The, the social structure, society norms, that's going through a death. Expect some major transformations here. Um, okay, they're giving y'all a message here. Let me keep going. Because if you're not able to trust what you feel and go with it in a balanced way, the King of Cups is a balanced emotion. It's like emotional maturity at its peak. Not allowing the external advice other people give you expectations from other people. You know, oh God, why is this so heavy? So this is what's going through a transformation actually globally. Okay, this is the North Node, South Node energy here. Taurus, Scorpio, we're on that axis right now. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, overthinking something being offered. That should be a red flag for self. Why am I overthinking this? It's here. Why did it show up? It's here. There must be something there. I'm going to trust. I'm going to allow. I'm going to trust what I feel. But when it's, no, if this is here, it must mean this. You want to question that. When you come to an absolute observation and it is what it is. And there's no way you can deviate from the observation you come to. That should be a red flag. Everything should give you room for the opposite energy of it, right? If your result or your answer that you come to is a no, you, you should be able to consider a yes and vice versa. If your resolution that you come to is a yes, you should be at least able to consider the no. There, You have to give yourself that room. But if it's no, I can't take it because it means this and that's definite, that's when you want to start. That's a red flag. Anything that puts you like this is a red flag, actually. When you overthink it, because the higher self will tell you, let it go. Don't think about it. Give it to us. And it'll come back to you when it's time for you to consider it again. And when it comes back to you, you'll be able to flow with it. Like, it's here. If it's wrong, if it's not best for me, it won't allow me to go too far into it. And I trust that. So I'm going to just allow it. Because this is resistance when you're saying, no, I can't entertain this. I can't even consider it. I can't for a second because if I do, it means this. You're on some kind of extreme. You want to really, really kind of hone in on that emotion. Feel that emotion because it's it's trying to get you to break free from that emotion. So let's keep going here. Okay, because that's when changes happen. That's when your world blows up, actually. So, okay, so here is the illusion. The illusion is... If you do this, it's going to make this happen, right? If this, then that. That's where I'm going. I'm, I'm, this is domino effect, right? It feels like a slippery slope. If I entertain this, then this happens next, and that happens next, and this happens next, right? 
So I'm not going to entertain it. That's a belief system we're letting go of. Now, let's just say everything that you say happened is actual, is factual. If I do this, this would happen and I don't want this to happen. What you are letting go of is that feeling of, I don't want this to happen. That's the resistance. This thing you don't want to happen is a part of your growth. It's a part of your level up. So being okay with what happens next is a part of the trusting. So some people actually can see their world blowing up and they're not ready for this. So they choose to stay in structures that was built for them, not structures that they built. This is a construct. It's a building. A building is made to last. It doesn't change. This is concrete. It's made to be there forever. And, you know, the only time a building changes is when it's being remodeled. And we're not remodeling anymore. We are breaking down to build from the ground up. I'm telling you, there's wonderful news. Something is going to really surprise you. For some of you, this is actually a wonderful tower because you have already been on this journey of letting things fall for like the past few years, maybe. So this is your good news. Something that makes your heart flutter. I'm just going to tell you that. Because that's what I'm feeling. Something There's something you don't trust it, but as you allow it, it's going to continuously surprise you over and over, over and over. And then you're going to be like, wow, I almost gave up on it, but I didn't. Even with all these thoughts, this is not as easy as one, two, three. So believe me, I get it. I get it. I'm experiencing this with you all. I am. I get it. It's not as easy as the way I'm kind of saying the message. I get it. Any death is hard. I mean, just think about how humans deal with the death of a loved one. It's hard. It's not something you can just like pass over and just say, hey, get over it. No, you know, that's insensitive. And that's not really looking at it from a compassionate view. Right. So I understand it's just this is a death is a part of life. It's everyone's fate. This is your fate, and my fate. So we can't. Act like it's not something that happens naturally. We are going through a death process. Okay, now that that's said and realized and understood, it's time for the change to happen. It's here. It's here. I'm telling you, Scorpio season is huge. We actually have two Scorpio cards here, death and the tower. And many, this is what's kind of the overthinking, not being able to have your mental meet your heart. They need to compromise your mental capacities and your emotional capacities. They need to meet. If it's all mental, that's a red flag. The things that are coming in, they're coming from a page. They're coming from, they're coming from a space that you're going to question it. You're going to doubt it. This is a part of the initiation into the higher realms. Listen, like, goodness, guys, this is just how it's happening. If you're ready for it, you're ready for it. Let's keep going. Okay, temperance, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. We're dealing with some big energies. It takes time. So do it on your time. It takes time. I get it. There's a healing process with this. You're going through a chemical change internally. This is the change internally. It's going to be some, you know, imbalance. This kind of change brings some imbalances. It does. 
it shakes up your world. Sagittarius season, from Scorpio season to Sagittarius season, there's going to be some things happening here. Hmm. This card wants to come out. Yes, some balance. Wow. And it started Libra season. My goodness. Some of you guys, it's not going to end until uh, Taurus season is when it's going to probably settle for some of y'all. <laughs> Opportunity in your face. You're not considering it. You're rejecting it. The Look, it's here. You're focused on what's wrong. These that didn't bring you anything. When it's in your face. So some of you are working from like a lower emotional, vibrational space. Having a temper tantrum in the corner by yourself, being passively aggressive. So, so your children, guys, I don't know for many of you, your children plays a role in this. I'm seeing children. So I have to say this. Make sure you guys are... <laughs> you're giving to your children. I f okay, because... That's where a lot of you, there's like a lot of bad karma there. The child feeling unloved, unbalanced. There's something there for somebody. I don't know. I'm like that's coming through strongly. How are you raising your children? Some of you are passing your own belief systems that we are releasing. You're passing it down to your children. You're cre creating this generational pattern that we're actually trying to break. So just be mindful that this is coming up. That's the message. And I'm, I'm actually, um, I, I feel like this is something you guys want to meditate on it. I'm not going to go. Yeah. Y'all dealing with falsehoods here. Many are actually. So uh, whenever a tarot spread is done, tarot is like the heaviest type of messages you guys can get because it's, it's all advice and guidance. And usually it's things that many don't want to really face yet. They're not ready to tackle that. It's the real stuff. This is subconscious. It's like a subconscious. Um, it's like a ladder or a bridge into your subconscious mind. Things you don't want to face. Things you don't want to realize. Things that keep deceiving you. The illusion. Yes, illusion. Everything that glitters ain't gold. There's a snake in here. This one looks highlighted like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> you don't even know what's underneath the cover. My goodness. Some of you, it's like being bamboozled. So, what a message here. They're trying to get you to see things clear. They're trying to get you from the confusion to clarity. So the truth, the truth will set you free. We live by the sword. The sword is the truth. That's what we live by. Okay, so we live by the sword. The sword is the truth. Clarity. Seeing it clearly, that's what removes the blocks. Some are still like, yeah, stuck here. Can't see, blindfolded. Working through the illusion, allowing the illusion to continue to carry you. So um, death here, we're in an energy of death right now. So. Naturally, things will die off right now. So naturally, this is about to happen for many people. This is a good transformation for many. 
And all transformation is actually, when it comes to the soul's growth, good, right? It's good. But this is going to show up in a positive way is what I want to say. You know, let's pull some of these just to see what comes out. Angel answers. Angel answers, please. Don't stop. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying, keep going. Don't give up, basically. Don't give up. They're saying keep going. Meditate, you guys. Meditate on this. And do things on your own time. Don't try to rush yourself to do something, okay? I feel like I have to say that. Uh, ask your angels. Yeah, meditate. Ask your angels. Believe me, you will get a response. You will. But don't stop. Ask for help if you need it. That's the message, and I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Friday.